Technician 775 here. I've got my deadwood stove out again, and this thing is fun to cook with. I just, I'm just enjoying the heck out of this. Okay, what I'm going to be doing this afternoon is doing a black eyed peas with uh, chicken smoked sausage and a couple of uh, chilies. Okay, just wanted to let you know what I was doing, and I'm going to put the video on hold for a minute uh, and get the fire started. I think you guys, uh, girls, already seen that before. So, this can keep the video kind of short. I want to go 19 minutes like I did on the last one. That was just way too long. So, I'm going to get this going. I'm going to throw the pot up on top, and I'll let you know when I put the seasonings in. Okay, we're back. Uh, looks like I've got a, a good fire going. Whoops, okay. I've got a good fire going. I'm going to use a little bit of, uh, I just use coconut oil. Uh, it, uh, it's like, I don't know, it's like lard. It's supposed to be good for you if you want to understand. They did some research and found out that uh, it's actually supposed to help uh, Alzheimer's uh, people. I'm not a doctor by any means, but that was a, you do a Google search on coconut oil. There was some uh, doctor out of Canada, I think. And it's like, well, yeah, we'll give it a shot. And I always heard it was tree lard and block up your uh, arteries and stuff. So, but it's real handy. Um, it uh, it liquefies real easy. Uh, you could probably use just any uh, top brand, you know, uh, oil type of thing. Okay, got the fire going pretty decent here. Got all my seasonings laid out. I'm gonna stoke the stoke the fire a little bit because I want to good and hot fire so I can actually fry the seasoning off so I'm gonna be in and out on the video like I said I don't want to keep it too long but uh, we are starting up and we'll be back okay I'm gonna looks like I've got you know grease pretty heat pretty heat grease is pretty hot yeah it's been a long day I've been pretty busy today doing this doing that you know maybe put another stick or two in there just to kick the heat up a little bit that's one thing nice you learn how to work with this and you can pretty much control the temperature fairly easy with the size of the sticks and how many okay what we're gonna do is add some onions oh we got sizzle okay uh, this is perfect for RVing um, actually just cooking out in the backyard if you just want to get that good smoke flavor you know in your in your food I'm gonna this is what I call black eye pea, railroaded black eye peas. Okay, it was a recipe that was given to me and back when I was a, I was a kid, Mr. Joe, uh, who was excellent cook, said if you don't have time to cook them from scratch, get a couple of cans, put some fresh vegetables, per se, the garlic, onions, a uh, little celery, some jalapenos, and, it, and, uh, it helped, and some hot sauce, and it'll help take that can taste out and it actually does a pretty good job of that. So I'm going to cook the onions down and be back. Okay, I've got the onions about where I want them. They're uh, not 100% translucent, but they're getting there. And uh, to keep the fire stoked, and uh, about a quarter inch, maybe uh, three eighths inch square pieces of wood. And if you can find some of that, or if you can actually cut it, cut it down that size right there, keeps the, uh, keeps the fire going pretty doggone good. Like I said, I need a little heat on this, so with this fire going, and it looks like it's going to burn for a while, so you don't have to sit there and, excuse the reach, more than the house reach, keep, uh, keep minding it, uh, but you do need to keep an eye on it, though. Uh, I can see where this could be real handy in case of an emergency uh, type of uh, bug out. You just throw the stove uh, and, um, <coughs> excuse me, in the trunk. You don't need wood, because most of the places you go, you can send the kids or you and a wife or whatever you can bring some spare wood uh, get started uh, bring that with you or go into the woods and actually collect some wood so okay I'm gonna put the sausage in there and I've got to uh, cut up uh, this is smoked uh, smoked jalapeno chicken sausage so yeah I do like a little on the spicy side we'll be back alrighty I've got my sausage where I want it and I'm gonna reach over here a little bit and they're fried down real good throw my jalapenos in there and stir them around just just for a little bit okay after this uh, it's sausage is, is cooked up real well and this would be excellent at a, at a deer lease I, I don't know it, it food always tastes better when you cook it in, ca in a black cast iron and oh an open fire uh, wood fire and out in the open for some odd reason I don't know this has a better taste to it 
I don't know if that doesn't look good, I don't know what does. So with that done, I'm going to take and I've got my uh, Pinto, uh, not Pintos, geez, my Black Eyed Peas. I'm using the Trapeze brand uh, Black Eyed Peas. I already got them open. I'm just going to pour them in there like that. Okay, the uh, Indians are circling. Uh, the cats are uh, kind of circling the, uh, watching the, watching the goings on. Okay, the fire's still going good. All right, yeah, I hope, yeah, I hope I got both cans of black IP, the same one. I've done that before, mixed two different ones in there, not paying attention. And uh, it came out all right, just a little different tasting. Okay, so I'm going to turn the fire down just a little bit, which, which means I'm going to take and kind of let it burn, burn down just a little. So, because I'm be to the simmering port now, and stir this around a little bit. All right, I'll go in and add a little bit of water. I almost got too much sausage for the amount of beans. I only had two cans of beans here to try, so but it'll be all right. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, that'll be that'll be just fine. I'll go add a little water, but uh, I think I've got a couple other items I want to add in there. In the meantime, we're gonna take and do do some garlic. Ah. I get the can open. Now I don't have any uh, fresh garlic we're out, so I'm having to use uh, some of this stuff in a jar. It's not the same, but it will work. All right, a little bit of garlic. Okay, I've got a I've got a little bit of red pepper, and I'm taking a uh, oh what they call it. Oh, sorry for the reach. Guess I could have this stuff on the other side. Nothing like being prepared. A little bit of uh, crystal hot sauce shakes of that and you laugh but yes I do eat this um, okay a little bit of Zataran seasoning which is I got some the other day it's the uh, less uh, uh, less salt more spicy add just a skosh of it the beans will come pretty much already salted uh, in the can okay so you gotta be kind of careful with the salt there and I'll take and stir that around just a little bit and we'll be back in after I get some water, we'll be back. Okay, uh, it's just been simmering for a little while, and uh, once you get the, the initial fire started in this in this uh, stove here, uh, put a couple of mid-sized pieces, and it seems to burn pretty steady, you know, for a good simmer. And uh, what I love cooking uh, cooking in these black iron uh, pots is uh, like a thin pot, which will transfer the heat. These black irons kind of hold the heat, and if you happen to get a little hot fire for a while. It kind of the ups and downs are real slow. The peaks and valleys are real slow. Um, and if you happen to kind of slack off on there, it's still holding some heat. So this has uh, been simmering for oh a little bit here, and probably let it cook for maybe simmer for maybe 30 minutes. And you can see some of the the spices and, and stuff coming to the top. And my chilies in there. I love the jalapenos. Um, a lot of people laugh and say you can eat that as hot. It's not really that hot. By the time you mash some of these uh, peas or beans up, um, it, it absorbs a lot of the flavor. So, okay, and with that, and if you have just one stove, what you can do is get a, a pot about the same size, and these are fairly inexpensive pots. They're made in China, but you can also get the lodge, too. I think I've got one or two lodges around here, and these are kind of just my beat and bang around pots. Uh, you can have another pot made up with rice in it, just sitting off to the side, cook your rice first, and then put your, your beans or your peas or your, other, your meat item on there. That way your rice will still stay warm in that big pot. And whenever your main uh, uh, dish is done, just scoop up some rice. Even if it's gotten cool, your main dish right here will, will heat, heat, keep everything hot. So we'll be back. Okay, uh, after working with this uh, for a while, the stove for a while here, I did notice that, uh, say, maybe four or five inch pieces of wood, uh, one inch uh, by a one inch square, maybe three quarters, half an inch, it actually works pretty good because once you get a little bit of coals going down at the bottom, now you throw that little block in there and it gives you a, a good simmer. And uh, that size piece will actually burn for a while. Uh-oh, and my dog barking at something. Oh, well. Anyways, this is just a uh, short video to show you, uh, a short clip rather here, just to show you, you know, the inside of the uh, stove, how it just sits there and get the uh, good uh, simmer flame going. See you in a bit. Okay, if you can see through all the steam there, you see a good simmer going on the pot. It's been, oh geez, I don't know, maybe uh, 30, uh, 45 minutes, okay? And uh, the fire's just kind of sitting there and doing its thing. 
uh, you know, it's not bad. Like I said, about uh, four or five inch pieces uh, thrown in when you get a little bit of embers, or a little bit of coals, rather. Um, it actually works pretty gosh darn good. So, um, with that said, I'm going to take and let this simmer just a few more minutes. Go get me a spoon and an adult beverage and sit down and have me dinner. So, it looks pretty good. I've got about the consistency that I like for it for the creaminess. And, and if you want it a little bit creamier, just like uh, you just take two spoons and get a uh, spoonful of uh, peas and just have a, another spoon and just mash them, mash them up and then put them back in the pot and stir them up and see if you get to the consistency that you like. Now if you like them soupy, don't stir them as much because the more you stir them, the more they'll break down on you. So with that said, you've probably got a, a whole bunch of cooks out there, a hell of a lot better cooks than me, saying, oh shut up Steve, we already know that. Alrighty, with that said, just testing out the Deadwood stove again. And any comments or suggestions are most, more than appreciative. Um, thank you for all the kind words and some of the suggestions that y'all sent in. As, as always, thank you very much. And Technician 775 signing off. Oh, one last thing. If uh, you guys uh, say you get a deer camp or uh, Oh, uh, at the camp, uh, just camping or whatever, and everybody's just, you know, has been out and you're stuck cooking. We, it's not a bad thing I like to cook. Uh, hide the cans, and when they get back, they'll think you've, you've made this from scratch uh, with the fresh onions. Uh, if you had bell peppers, I forgot to put bell peppers in there. So, you know, fresh onions, the fresh garlic, fresh bell peppers, which you can easily bring with you. It takes that can taste out, and it's pretty dead gum good. So, y'all take care, and thanks again for watching.